Once loaded with oxygen, the blood then travels back to the heart and gets pumped out to supply the entire body. Cells use this oxygen, produce CO2, and the cycle repeats itself over and over again. Now, your diaphragm and intercostal muscles actually power this entire process by changing chest pressure to pull air in and to push air out. More demand, like sprinting or running, we breathe faster. But on the other side, with less demand, like sitting in front of the TV, we breathe slower and easier. So with problems like pulmonary edema, pneumonia, COPD, or even a pulmonary embolism where there's a blood clot in the lungs, this can all block proper gas exchange, which is why O2 is so closely monitored in nursing. Because as we say, oxygen is the money of the body. Without it, your body goes broke and dies. Now, as a quick recap, we breathe air in and it goes to the alveoli. Oxygen goes in, CO2, carbon dioxide, goes out. Oxygen then binds to hemoglobin, blood circulates that oxygen, the diaphragm powers the entire process, and the cycle repeats about 12 to 20 times per minute. 